Here is class stack from the previous video, with its method bodies omitted because we do not have to look at them. At the top, we have the fields, followed by the constructor and methods push, pop, and size. Method iterator is there also. To the right is inner class stack iterator, with its field n, constructor, and methods has next, and next. Now let's look at the API documentation for interface java.lang.iterable. To find it, Google Java 8 Iterable or use the on screen URL. The description of this interface says public interface iterable. Implementing this interface allows an object to be the target of the for each loop statement. So we will change the header of class stack to implement interface iterable. Looking further down in the API documentation, we see that implementing this interface requires declaring the method iterator. We have already written this method. Therefore, by simply saying that this class implements iterable, we have made it possible to use a for each loop to enumerate the stack elements. For example, we can write code to create and save a new stack object, push three integers onto it, and use a for each loop to print the stack elements from top to bottom. Executing this code will produce three lines containing the integers eight, six, and 10. Note that the Java 7 version of interface iterable has only one method, iterator. The Java 8 version has two other default methods. We do not discuss and do not use these methods.